Hey! Oh, are you oh, ready? What are you doing, man? I just start. I don't, <laughs> I don't even count down, okay? Hey there, Potter Puffs. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special guest who hasn't been on this channel in a very long time. It's Britt, my sister, and we're excited because we have something to unbox today. I didn't want to just unbox this on my own. It's kind of something that is fun to do with a friend or sister. So we're going to get straight away involved and give this technology. Is it technology? No. No. What is it called? I don't know. Um, it's software. Software. Clothing software. Clothing software. So first of all, I just need to say thank you to Wow Stuff for sending this to me for free. It retails for £70 in the UK, which I think is quite expensive, so it has a lot to live up to. The opinions will always be my own, so I'm just going to do a little review on it, and Britt will also be giving her thoughts. So let's get straight on. I forget that I literally just start videos with, like, no warning, so I just did a three, two, one, action. <laughs> right, Britt, you can do the honours. Please don't rip the box. Do you want some scissors? Didn't. So what you'll need for this video is your iPhone, or not iPhone, just your Android or Apple phone. And this set comes with an actual tripod, which is really good. Ooh, there's instructions! Right. Oh. Is that everything? No. God, there's a lot in here. So it comes with a phone stand so that you can actually prop up your phone to do it. Because if you don't have a tripod, you're not a YouTuber and you don't really need one, then you may not have one of those. So it actually comes with one. Okay, so we have invisibility cloak. Click on that. Go, would you say that would be the right I button? I would say go would be the right button. So I'm going to hold this here whilst Brit sets up the tripod. So click on invisibility cloak, go. And I don't know what's going to happen. Probably nothing because we don't have the cloak on. Oh, a video. Okay, I'm just going to totally watch this now. Okay, so as you can see on the screen now, there's Brit. You have to keep your camera still, so it's very important that you do use the tripod function. The camera has to be completely still um, and you basically can record video and photos. So hopefully it's as easy as it seems and easier than when I did the live print printer, which was quite difficult. And we're going to just try it out right now. Set this going now and I'm not sure this is on video. Could you check for me that it's on video? Let's put that in your video. <laughs> <laughs> is it recording yet? Yes, it's been recording Both for 34 seconds. Oh, so no battery. Oh God. That's fine. It's 20%. Okay. So we've got the cloak. Brit's having to hold both phones right now, which is really confusing for her because she has to keep a very steady hand with the invisibility cloak. Here is the beautiful cloak when it's not green screen. So nothing will happen when it's facing this way. When I turn it on the other way, onto the green side, that's when I should disappear. Obviously not on the video, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like later on. Oh, it disappeared. To me, I just feel like I'm wearing something green. The only thing is, though, it looks like the window is behind you when it's not. Oh, it's ripped up. Just carry on. Let's get my invisibility cloak, which is totally going to work now. Cover your face. Am I invisible? Am I invisible? <laughs> is it working? You're just really fuzzy. Do you want to try it? You look like a splodge. So is it not over there? It worked. Where's Gordon gone? There he is. Okay, so I had to add this part into the video, and that's because I wanted to give the cloak a bit more of a fair go. So I realised that this has literally just been planted somewhere magically in the middle of my video with Brit. And that's because I finished it and I thought maybe I should test it in some more different conditions. Maybe I should go outside. I wanted to give it a bit more of a trial run so that it was a completely fair review because I've seen other YouTubers reviews. One of them was really good. One of them was really bad. And I thought, hmm, need to make sure mine is completely fair and I have given it enough time because it's very easy to get something out of the box and then be like, no, it doesn't work or yes, it does work without properly trialing it. I've had no issues with the app other than the fact that if you jog the camera at all, I mean, literally like tap your tripod, then it may throw it off and it may say, oh, you've moved the camera, which is something you can't do when you're using this app. 
So that's frustrating because I literally nudged my tripod with the invisibility cloak and that meant that it didn't work. So you have to be incredibly careful. Okay, so first of all, I went to Laycock with it. I stood in a field wearing this green screen invisibility cloak and it looked perfect. The background wasn't moving anymore. That was an issue I encountered in the earlier videos that you've probably seen of me and Britt trying it. And that's because we were holding the camera. This time it was properly on a tripod, but the natural light was hitting the cloak and the green was still showing at the top. Now me and John couldn't work out if that was because of the fact my hair was down, potentially an issue, hence why it is now tied up, or it was the natural light. We've put this down to the natural light. I don't think this cloak likes it at all which is a bit disappointing because a lot of people are going to want to create scenes outside, especially things like the Forbidden Forest. That was what I wanted to do. And even though the most of the cloak worked, there was still a whole head shoulders kind of area where there was green. It just didn't look effective. So when you're looking on the box and it's telling you it's very, very simple to do and that, you know, you literally turn on the app and then that's it. There's a lot of factors to consider which you wouldn't consider because they're not listed on the box. So I would suggest only using artificial light, which is where you're going to see my best clip in a minute. We shut all the doors, only had on a light that was in the hall and filmed there in a very dingy kind of atmosphere. That was where I made my best video. Other than that, there's always been a problem. I've had an outline or the background's been shaky or there's been some green showing. And it's just a bit frustrating for £70 that you can't get an app that works properly with the cloak. I wouldn't want to spend that money and encounter those issues. Obviously, in this case, I didn't buy it, but I'm imagining that I did buy it and that would frustrate me. But to give credit where credit's due, I love the concept. For its money, it's made of high quality cloak material which as I said earlier is meant to be based on the one that Harry wore which is fantastic. Green screen lining is lovely so there's nothing cheap about the feel of the cloak but it's the app that has issues and this seems to be just the technology aspect. The idea is there, it works well, it works well enough to have fun with it but there are too many things to consider which makes it frustrating, too many ways it can go wrong and if you're thinking about the target market, this product is probably a younger generation and they're going to get frustrated because, you know, I'm 25. I'm getting frustrated. John's 31. He's getting frustrated. I don't feel it's a product that you can take too seriously. I'm definitely going to film some more videos trying it out. I would have loved to have gone to a castle and used it, but I'm not even sure if the natural light would have been too much there. So it is a bit of potluck. I'm not sure if it's something that you can really use as much as you want to. I'm going to show you the rest of the video that I've already filmed earlier in a minute, but I just wanted to add that in there because I have taken it on quite a few more road tests since I filmed the main video. So that's why I felt it was important to express that to you guys. I am always honest, as I've told you, and even with me doing a lot of testing, it's still not an amazing product, unfortunately. So here is my best video featuring the invisibility cloak. So let me know what you think of it. And if you think that it's top notch filmmaker material, maybe that's a little bit high. But if you think it lives up to the standards that you in your head wanted it to, or if you still think there is room for improvement. I'm very happy with the clips that I made in the end. It just took a long time to get there. Snacks coming! <laughs>
actually a little bit more complex than what we were anticipating. Yeah. It was good, don't get me wrong, but there is definitely a couple of things that are a bit kind of weird with it. The background, what, what happens with the background? Would you if say? you don't have like a blank wall or something, if it's too complicated, like bookshelves, there's no chance. It just glitches it moves and it's it. like um, distorted. Yeah, it's distorted, but yeah. it's very fun. So you mm. could definitely create some really good videos, but I don't know if it's worth £70. I think no, that's just a lot of money for it. If it was faultless, then maybe. Yes. But it's a children's toy or an adult collector's toy as well. But I think maybe the price should be more thirty. Yeah, thirty. I agree. Yeah. So for what it is, it is great. But there's definitely a few things you could improve. But we couldn't have made ourselves invisible a few years ago. So we're <laughs> very, very happy that we have this. And it looks exactly like the one from yes. the film, doesn't it? It One's looks very good. They actually used the kind of replica at the Warner Brothers Studio tour to design this cloak. So it was as close to the original as possible. So the fabric is very, very nice. And I can imagine it's basically very similar to the one Daniel Radcliffe had, but obviously his is gonna be a bit better. I don't know, in the films, didn't the invisibility cloak look just like silk? Well, yeah, it was nearly see-through. Yeah, it was but kind of that, like wearing the moment, a ghost. The moment you hold that up, it starts to go a bit see-through. Yeah, it does actually. It's too hot to be wearing invisibility cloaks, let's just say. Just do a little demo a second again. So yeah, it's like a blanket. You could wear it as a blanket. So how many would you rate that out of 10, Britt? Um, 7.9. Ooh, I'm very specific. I'm gonna give it, because I need to give it more of a go. Now I actually get how it works. Sure. Probably an 8.5, because it's a very like high ambitious idea. To think yeah, I can like make an invisibility cloak. Yeah, because I'm waiting for ones that actually work now and right. stuff like this. So, you know, the level's quite high. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you will be purchasing this very magical cloak, would you? I think if it was slightly less, then definitely I would. Because I think it's great. It's just the price makes me question it a little bit. But unfortunately, in muggle life, when you're an adult, that is with you with a don't lot of really have the money to spend on invisibility cloaks as much as I would if I could go to work in it every day. <laughs> we wouldn't need to go to work if we no, were invisible. that's very true. I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully Brit will be on my channel at some point again. Bye! Bye.